Hi Campus First Canada, I'm Steve Thomas, Google at campusfirst.ca, and I just wanted to spend a few minutes recording a quick tip for you. Uh, I get a lot of questions about being logged out of the Campus First member space or uh, having to log in a lot, and I just wanted to show you a little bit of a quick tip in order to get around some of that stuff. So on the screen here, you can see that I am on the Campus First Canada homepage. Uh, up here in the top, you can see that I am logged in as just my personal account. So I've got all sorts of bookmarks and plugins and stuff added onto this. But uh, let's sort of demonstrate what happens when we go into member space. So I clicked on member space. I'm going to choose my Campus First Canada profile. It now gets me in. Um, and let's say I want to retrieve a file off the drive. So I'm just going to click on drive here and it takes me into my drive. Now, how Google works is at some point it is going to ask me to log in again. Um, because I am currently signed in as my personal profile, uh, at some point in time, it is going to go to the, its own security servers and be like, this person isn't who they say they are, and boot me out, and I'm going to have to re-sign in and all the rest of it. Bad times. Instead, we're going to add a profile to Google Chrome or a person to Google Chrome so that it is held entirely separate from your other accounts, and that way you never have to log in again. You can always just use your campus store's profile directly. So again, we're in Google Chrome. Uh, I'm going to talk click on my face here up in the top right hand corner that's going to be something else for you whether it's a, a different image or what have you and i'm going to come to where it says other people uh, you can see i've already got some other people added on here but i'm going to click on the add button now i want to choose a name that's meaningful for me so in this case i'm just going to keep it as csc that allows me to keep it differentiated uh, and i'm going to choose the origami dragon because dragons are cool uh, and then i'm going to click uh, I can click add at this point in time. I can also choose whether or not I want to create a desktop shortcut because I am on Windows 10. Uh, I think the same thing works on Mac OS, but I don't have Mac OS running right now, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, so I click add, and now I am already a Chrome user because we've added Chrome users for everyone. So if I, if I go and click the add Chrome user and log in, I can now go to enter in uh, my regular information and it's going to log me in once I actually add myself through my phone because security is important. So now I am in the Campus First Canada workspace. Uh, when I sign in to a managed account, it, it just it gives us access to our app history and stuff like that. Um, you can see the things that are tied to that. You can decide whether or not you want to link that data or not. It's up to you. I normally don't. And there are already ways for us as administrators to see what you're doing inside of the workspace. So don't feel like you need to give us that information for any reason. Um, but I'm now signed in. Uh, no matter what I click on here, I can go to calendar uh, and sign in once. So I'm going to sign in as uh, myself uh, on, on the Google Calendar. And now it's not going to ever sign me out because the Chrome profile is authenticated. It is saying, you are you and you are here constantly. So again, it, it now has the ability to just constantly stay in the Campus Stores Canada member space. It's not gonna kick me out. It's not gonna say that I have to go and be somebody else. I am just me now. Um, the, the reason why this is a good idea is because it does keep all of your browsing history and bookmarks and stuff separate. So if you have other bookmarks you'd like to add to your Campus First Canada web space or certain ones you want to take away, that fine. Uh, it just allows you to customize that stuff and not have to log back in all the time. So let's say that now I close this and I close, uh, I'm going to minimize that. This is the desktop icon. So when it was asking about a desktop shortcut and whether or not we wanted to add one earlier, I said yes. And now if I click on that, it's gonna always open up Chrome as if I am already in my Campus Source Canada user. Um, you can see down here at the bottom, there is a differentiation. So the same profile photo that is down here in the bottom is also my profile photo in all these other instances. And it helps me to differentiate. So this is my non CSC, you can tell by the bookmarks up top. This is my non-CSC person, like Chrome profile, whereas this is my CSC Chrome profile. And down at the bottom, you can definitely tell there's a little tiny version of my, uh, of my profile photo on one, whereas on the other, there isn't. Um, I do have other clients that I work with who have other profile photos as well so that I can help differentiate between them. This 
especially is a helpful for you if you're on a shared workstation and there are multiple people who have access to campusstores.ca uh, to our member space. If that is the case, just make sure you're choosing different profiles so that it's easy to, to differentiate between each other. Um, if you have any other questions or want any other tips or have suggestions for other tips I could cover, you can always get a hold of me at google at campusstores.ca or 1-888-288-4044. Again, that's google at campusstores.ca. Uh, thanks a lot, and we'll hope to hear from you soon. Bye now.